For those of you not on Facebook, without a Twitter account, who never talk to your coworkers once you leave the school building, or spent the summer on an as yet undiscovered Pacific Island, we're here to let you know that Rittner has new copiers. These copiers are a bit larger and different. Quite frankly, they are intimidating. Staff members have uniformly uttered the same word when seeing the copier for the first time. Oh, wow. Soon we will show you how to master Tim, the intimidating copier. Before we begin copy training 101, we want to remind you, A, this is a machine. B, machines are made by humans. C, you are a human. And D, therefore you are smarter than the copier. Whenever you see a staff member in front of the copier muttering, they're only practicing the mantra, we are smarter than this copier. Now let's begin the training. Christy, this is Tim. Tim, this is Christy. Tim, remember, do what we want and we will provide a constant supply of your favorite food, copy paper. Enjoy the tutorial. First, I will show you how to log on. You just click username, type in your number, hit OK. Select password, type in your password, hit OK and then you have to hit OK one more time. To do regular copying, make sure that the copy button is highlighted. I have my sheet. I will stick it in the tray. I would like five copies, so I'm just gonna hit the number five and press Start. And now I have my five copies. The next thing we're gonna do is, if you have a two-sided document and you wanna print it two-sided. I will put it in my tray, make sure that copy is highlighted. I'm going to select two-sided to two-sided, put in the number of copies, and hit start. So now you see the blinking red light machine is warming up. Just give it a few minutes and it will start. And now I have my five double-sided copies. Now we are going to copy multiple documents as a group and staple them. Put them in the tray. If you have two-sided papers that you want to make two-sided, you can hit the two-sided, two-sided button. If you have two-sided that you want to make one-sided, you can do that as well. One to two or one to one. I'm going to do one to one on this one. Then I will hit output setting, staple because I want them stapled. Make sure it's in the right spot, left corner. I'm gonna hit OK, OK, and type in the number that I want and hit Start. So again, you see the red blinking light under machine and it's warming up. You just have to wait and your copies will come out. And so now I have three copies that are stapled. The next copy we're going to do is if you want to hole punch your documents. I stick them into the tray. So I'm going to hit one sided to one sided, go to output setting, hit punch. The default will fall on two hole punch. You want to click three hole punch on the left or whatever side you prefer. Hit OK. Hit OK. Type in the number of copies you want and hit start. And now you have your copies three hole punched. The next thing we're going to copy is I want to make 10 copies of each of these sheets. So I'm going to put them all together. I'm going to select output setting. I'm going to select offset group. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to make 10 and hit start. So now I have 10 of my first page, 10 of my second page, and 10 of my third page. Now I'm going to make five copies of this group of papers and I want them to stay together as a group. I will put it in the tray. I will select output setting. I will select offset sort. I will hit OK. I will hit five and I will hit start. Now I have 
five groups of the three different papers. Now I'm going to copy from a book. I would like to copy two pages and I would like it to be double sided. So first I'm going to open it up, put the first page that I would like copied down. I'm going to hit one sided and two sided and then hit start. So it's gonna scan my first page. Then I'm going to put my second page that I want on the left side. I'm gonna hit start again and it's gonna scan. Then I will hit scan complete. I will put in the number of copies I want and I will hit start. So now I have a double sided copy from the book. Now I'm going to show you how to print directly from your laptop to the copier. So first I'm going to have selected the document that I want to print. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to print. Make sure up here you have workroom printer selected. Now down here you have all kinds of settings to manipulate your copies. You can click print all pages and you can print all the pages or you can print current page or if you want specific numbers you can type them in. You can print one-sided or double-sided. You can print collated or uncollated. For today I'm just going to print this one document but I'm going to print two copies and I'm just going to click print. Okay, so you've sent the printed document to the copier. Now you're just going to log in how you normally do. Instead of copy, you're going to hit recall. You're going to select your user box and you're going to select the document that you chose and hit print. If you want to do multiple copies, you can type in your number and then hit OK. So now I have my two copies that I printed from my laptop. So now I want to print multiple documents from my laptop. I sent them all to the copier and I will show you how to print them from the copier. Once you've logged in, Again, you're going to go to recall. You're going to select your box. I have three documents here that I want all to print. So I'm going to hit the first one and hit combination. I'm going to hit the second one and hit combination. The third one and hit combination. Now all three will print. I'm going to hit print and OK. So now I have all three of my documents.